Um, I'm welcoming Dr. Hussam Zomlot into the studio now, Palestinian ambassador to the UK. Um, Hussam, you've, you've been on the programme several times before in much happier circumstances, and we've always had a really interesting exchange uh, of views, and you've taken calls from our listeners as well. Obviously, um, what everyone's going through at the moment, particularly in Gaza, is absolutely horrific. And let's start off by talking about this um, uh, the, this airstrike today on the uh, Jabalia refugee camp in uh, northeast northern Gaza. First of all, what can you tell us about that refugee camp? And, and just give your reaction to what's happened today, because apparently, according to the um, health ministry there, at least 50 people were killed. Well, I know a little bit about that camp because I was born in a refugee camp in Gaza, but to the south of Gaza. Jabalia is to the very north of Gaza. I have many fa family members in Jabalia refugee camp. It's uh, The camp is a, a, an area of half square mile. Half square mile. On that half square mile, you have 50,000 refugees living. It's the most dense spot of land on earth as per the UN. Uh, 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 statistics and what have you. Uh, the highest poverty, unemployment uh, rates in the world, those are refugees who were ethnically cleansed from their homes and lands in the Nakba events of 1948 and the ethnic cleansing that you all know about and been very well uh, documented. And those very people were put under draconian siege for the last 16 years. And then comes today. Israel claims that there was a Hamas fighter somewhere in the camp and drops uh, a bomb that is capable to destroy the entire camp. The scenes and the footages are horrific. Um, and therefore, this is no longer a question of uh, 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 legality. It's really now about our very human values. So, so when, when the Israeli, uh, when the IDF claims that um, Hamas is... Uh, Ibrahim Biari, who's one of the leaders of the 7th of October attacks, uh, has been killed along with several other Hamas members. You call that into question? Well, uh, it's not my job to call that in question. My job is to confirm that what Israel, does, what Israel does, uh, did is a war against humanity. You don't go and bombard a refugee camp, the most dense on earth. Children, women, families destitute people because you have information there is some suspect in that area those matters are not done in today's world not by a state that is recognized by the world and has a seat in the united nations this is the most barbaric barbaric unacceptable acts and the question is did israel breach international law after the 7th of october in every go in every go we have more than 8000 civilians innocent people killed by israeli bombardments we have more than 3000 children 3000 you know the 3000 are the high the, the total of palestinian children killed since the 7th of october is more than the global number of children killed since 2019 and you had so many conflicts since, since then you had israel cutting water electricity medical supplies fuel you have babies in incubators that might die any second because the hospitals are running out of energy and generators you have the spread of diseases now including cholera because people are drinking contaminated water you have more than one million people that have been forced to flee and leave their homes without anywhere to go, without shelter, and yet still shelter, uh, uh, striking, bombarding them in the south. This is unconscionable, Ian, unconscionable. And the question here, if you allow me, okay. are all those breaches of international law 100%? Did Israel breach international law before the 7th of October? 200% the siege on Gaza is illegal, the military occupation and colonization is, is illegal, the settler violence is illegal, the, the apartheid regime that has been enforced on the Palestinian people is illegal, the killing of many Palestinian peaceful protesters in the West Bank is illegal, we have more than 110 of them in the last couple of weeks. The question has come not about Israel and Palestine, the question is about our international system, about this double standards and inability to, to enforce laws 
on Israel like anybody else? This is the key question. And the key question is why? 